the morning of day two, and this brings me back to the Narrows again. Yesterday, scattered out a couple shots, and today, I'm here to take two. I have my first shot set up here. I am gonna be shooting an area of Wall Street. There's a beautiful glow right now, but it's only gonna get better. I'm gonna take a horizontal shot to emphasize the river. I'm gonna take it with Kodak Ektar 100 and Kodak Portra 160 VC. These are both color negative films, which hopefully are gonna do a good job with the tonality. If you see behind me as I swing the camera around, it's actually a pretty high contrast scene, even though it's low light. This means I'm gonna have a really long exposure. I metered it somewhere around 10 minutes for one of the shots. Just gotta wait for the light to get a little better, take a shot, and hope it turns out. just finished taking my second shot for the day. It's very high contrast, down canyon view. The river winds through it, making it kind of nice serpentine form. The contrast is pretty high, and this is certainly gonna be an issue on the Velvia 50, but I know that on the Ektar 100, it's gonna be probably okay. I added a lot of extra time for reciprocity failure, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Now, just moments after I took the photo, some clouds streamed into view, and these clouds absolutely killed the reflected light. I think my timing was perfect. If everything turned out fine, I think I'm gonna be in good shape. Composition was pretty strong. Day two was very productive. Both photos turned out and the exposures were perfect. I always question my choice of exposure, especially when working with dark and contrasty locations. In this case, I thought I overexposed the shot, but it turned out my first instinct was best. 